everybody, welcome back to another morning word. Thanks for joining us this morning. This is where I share a couple mini video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I want to see your life go from here to here. Because God left us all these promises. I come to give you life and life more abundantly. But how do we do that, Lord? Well, he says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And if we can think like God, there is no valley that you can't come through no mountain top that you can't reach because there is nothing that's impossible for God which means also there is nothing that's impossible for you so let's really get into this please get a pen and a piece of paper take notes but then from those notes please take if this resonates with you if this video touches you in any way please 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 take action okay that's the only way you're going to see the fruits of this wisdom so we're going to be reading from the book of Judges which is the seventh book of the Bible and we're reading from chapter 7 verse 10 and 11 and he reads this if you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant, Pura, and listen to what they are saying. Afterwards, you will be encouraged to attack the camp. I'm going to call this morning's word, afraid, find your encouragement. Now, you know, the context of this is that Gideon is going to war, but God has reduced his number from 32,000 down to 300. And you can imagine with that, he is, he's lacking confidence and he's lacking, obviously, uh, that fearless uh, attitude that really you need when you go into battle. Now, God understood that. God understood that. Now, God didn't want Gideon going into war without that level of confidence. He didn't want him to go into uh, war with that level of encouragement that he was going to win. And if you're going into whatever battle today, you have to have a we are going to win mentality right from the outset. You cannot go in fearful. You cannot go in with a doubt. You have to be all in. So, if you're like what God did, God gave him encouragement uh, and showed him uh, through reality that he was going to win. So he gave him that encouragement. Now, if you're facing fear today, you're going into an interview, a board meeting, a staff confrontation, a confrontation with your partner, um, whatever it may be, an exam or some form of competition today, God knows that you're fearful. Uh, and he doesn't want that for you. You have to first understand that God knows that you're fearful, okay? And that's okay, but he doesn't want you to remain there. Now, um, when you're fearful, it also then equates to a lack of confidence. And when you have a lack of confidence, you don't represent yourself in the best light. You don't come across in the best light. You don't do things in the best light. You don't run as fast. You don't, you know, prepare as well. You don't speak as well. So confidence is everything and, and fear will rob you of that confidence. So you have to give yourself the best chance to win. So how do you do that? To, uh, you can't just allow fear to remain. You have to go out there and find your encouragement. Find that thing that gives you confidence. I can't tell you what it's going to be for you or for that person, but you've got to find that thing that gives you encouragement, whether that be a mentor, whether that be the Bible, whether that be a friend, whether that be uh, taking smaller steps before that. Go and find your confidence. So here's the question of the day. Are you afraid to move forward? Are you afraid to move forward? Here's the lesson of the day. Fear confronts us all, but what we do with that fear is more important. It's not the problem that you have that you have fear, it's what you do with that fear that is more important. You must find confidence, in, uh, inspiration and encouragement. As I said before, it may come from a mentor, a friend, a colleague, the Bible, God, a relationship with God. It doesn't matter, but you must overcome it. Now, remember what fear is. Okay, if we was to break down fear, it's false evidence appearing real. So to overcome, okay, you must find true evidence that dispels the false evidence that you're going to face. Okay, because a lot of times we're fearing things that even even happen, things that may never even happen, and you go in with the reality of that, in the confidence of that, that those things that you're fearing is just false evidence appearing real. So God bless you. As we always say with Jen Holt, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is I give back to God. Please subscribe to our social media outlets to get these videos Monday to Friday. But more importantly, share this with one person. Because I truly believe that if we can change the mindset of one person, we can actually change the world. So God bless you and see you soon for another morning word. Bye-bye.